Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a really good day. I wanted to come on here and share with you guys my Dollar Tree haul. So it's not going to be a really um, large haul because I'm trying to cut back. Yeah, right. We all know how that goes, right? But I still want to come in here and share with you guys what I picked up. And if my nose looks red or my face looks red, you'll have to ignore that. I am... I have a cold right now. I picked up something at my son's doctor's appointment or hospital visit. I'm not quite sure where I picked it up, but I got a freaking cold. All right, enough whining. Let's go ahead and get into the haul. I hope you guys are doing so good. So the first item I'm going to share with you guys are a couple food items. I picked up this bonus size um, alphabet cookies, and yeah, do not try these at home. They're so good. They're so addicting, and we all liked them. I'm trying not to eat anything like this, but... Um, I'm going to have to snag a couple because they're, 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 but they're really addicting. Just saying, you've been warned. <laughs> Next, I picked up some of these Monet uh, vegetable crackers. These looked really yummy, so I thought I would go ahead and give those a try. I found this Crayola multicolor uh, sidewalk chalk. I picked this up for the summertime for my youngest son to play with. I thought he would enjoy that. Also, next to that, kind of in the art supplies and things like that, I found this Crayola Color Alive, um, Bring Your Coloring to Life Barbie book it says um color scan and interact i thought this would be a nice gift to give to um, one of my youngest nieces uh, for their birthday i'll probably put it aside for that and then so yeah this is what it looks like on the back here it just looked like a really good find for the dollar tree now this was the most awesome find that i was excited about i found this next to the art supplies i got this for my youngest son it's the imaginarium 25 piece paintbrush set and as you can see on the back it says toys r us here and then Imaginarium here, but I thought my youngest son is really good at, he loves coloring, painting, crafting, you name it, and so I thought he would really enjoy this, and I really love the variety of the brushes you're getting in here. I thought that was a really great find, especially for a dollar. And then I have no idea what I'm going to use this for, but I found this banner here. This is bad. I found this banner, and I just thought it was cute. I love the designs, and it comes with, like, the banner's got different colors, and it's like pink, yellow, green, and blue. So we'll have to see what I do with that, but I just could not pass it up. Now, Valentine's Day is coming, and my youngest son needed some Valentine's Day cards, so I picked him up these 32 um, Minion Valentine's Day cards. These are so cute. I'll probably pick up his class some candy, too. I just haven't done that yet, but I just got him these for now. And I'm not sure about my oldest son. He's 11. I'm not even sure. I've, I've been meaning to ask him, do they even do Valentine's Day cards anymore? I don't know, so I might have to get him some, but I'm kind of waiting to find out what he says. So, um, yeah, I'm running out of breath here. Sorry, guys. Um, I found these head wraps, which I really like these for when I work out. I usually like to put my hair in a big, hot mess of a bun, and then I don't like any hairs to be in my face. So I found these head wraps that I thought were really cute. This one is in a teal and black, and they're real stretchy. They feel like they're going to be really comfortable. And then purple and pink, my favorite colors. So I got that one as well. And then I picked up this package. It's a three package of these chatties. Um, these are perfect. They're like the no show to wear with like ballerina flats. And I got these from when spring and summertime comes so I can wear these with my ballerina flats. I thought that was a good deal for the three pairs. They're kind of like a nylon kind of um, feeling to them. And then I picked up this soap dish. I'm not going to, or soap saver, uh, soap dish. I'm not going to use this as a soap dish. What I'm thinking about using this for is to actually use to kind of clean out my makeup brush. I thought that would be a good idea. So I'm going to see how that works out and hopefully that works out. Awesome. We'll have to see. I thought that was a good idea. And then I picked up some of these makeup remover wipes. I usually pick up the blue ones in the, um, the blue retinol ones, but my Dollar Tree was out. So I just picked these up to kind of get me by. And I found this really cute Valentine's Day uh, kind of little sparkly decor thing. And what I had done with this is I had picked this up from the Target dollar spot. It was $3. Not I didn't get this from the Dollar Tree, but I picked it up at Target for 3 bucks. It was in their dollar spot. It's kind of like a mercury glass hot pink. And then I put this in here like this. And I had this in the center of my table. I just think that looks really cute. I had hauled from the Dollar Tree. Um, it was like happy Valentine's Day and like glittery sparkly thing like happy and then I think Valentine's Day or I don't know something like that and I had that in the center of it and I just thought it looked really cute on my table so and then I picked up some of this hand soap this is the blackberry and pink peony this is my favorite scent of all these and I love the packaging on this so this looks really cute in the bathroom um, I had hauled the blue one before which is like a freesia 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 I don't know and I liked it at first. It had a really fresh scent, but the more me and my husband started using it, it smelled so strong and like Windex. We started to not like it. My husband's like, no more. And I was starting to think the same thing. I don't know if the last bottle we had of it 
was just too strong or what the deal was, but um, it did. It smelled like an overpowering chemically Windex. I don't know. So, but this one's my favorite. I picked up a candle and this is the bling. This is in the vanilla cashmere. This is really nice for a small space. It smells really good. Okay. And then I have got some band-aids here. The first one I got is Mr. Men and Little Miss. I just think these are so cute. And we're always going through so many bandages around here. And I just, I love those. I love all the, oops. I love all the designs on those. I thought those were so fun. And then I also picked up this one. It's called Make Your Own. And this is kind of like you're supposed to customize. I thought this would be kind of fun for, especially my youngest son, he's kind of into things like this. But you kind of customize your own. And when you open it up, you get 20 bandages in here, which they come in the different colors, like yellow, blue, and red. But inside comes with these little, um, like little markers, so you can personalize your bandage bandages is what that's for. So I thought that was kind of cute. Let's see if I can get that back in there. Now my youngest son had a stamp, but he didn't have some stamps, but he didn't have a stamp pad, so I picked him up this stamp pad in the blue. Okay. And I found this really cute duct tape. They've got a lot of new duct tapes, but I really liked this one. It's kind of like a cheetah with these bright, fun colors here. I thought that was so pretty. So I got that. All right. Looks like the last few things are probably um, beauty items for the most part. We're coming up to the beauty items. I picked these up, and I tried to film this a bunch of times. I hope I didn't show you guys these yet. But I picked up this laugh and scream things. I thought my kids would have a lot of fun messing with these. Um, I don't have batteries for them because I want to show them with you guys, but I don't have batteries right now. So I picked those up for them to kind of try out and probably drive me nuts a little bit. But you know, I found this body lotion. It's a passion fruit kiss. These are all sealed up. So it's really hard to smell. And I'm, I'm planning on sending someone a surprise friend mail. So, um, but it kind of comes through a little bit, I think, but it's really light, the scent of it. But it really reminds me of the Victoria's Secret, um, the pink kind of packaging with the gold. I really like this, the packaging on this for the Dollar Tree. I thought that was really cute. They also had it in a purple too, but now I can't remember what the purple one was scented or what scent that was. And I picked up a couple of these, um, like this one I picked up, it's the vitamin D3. You get 14 in here. And then I also picked up this melatonin for, I thought this would be good because I'm having a kind of hard time falling asleep lately um, when I've not been feeling well. So I thought I would try this out. We get 14 gummies in here. All right. So last few things are basically makeup items. And so let me just kind of get organized. Like I said, trying to film this a bunch of times, so I've got it kind of messy. I was excited to find these. These are fresh citrus scent um, elf make or not makeup remover wipes, but um, nail polish remover wipes. Thought this would be kind of nice just to go ahead and throw in my purse. And then I picked up three of them, but I plan on giving one in a friend mail as well. So I got those. Have you guys tried those out? If do they work well? If you let me know if you guys have tried those, I'd be interested to know. And I picked up a couple of these smudge pots. The first one I picked up is Pop and Party. And this is a really pretty deep purple color here. And then this one here is in Brownie Points, which is a really uh, pretty kind of brownish uh, bronze color. I thought that was real pretty. And this one I'm going to be sticking into a friend mail as well. And then I have never tried this out, but it's the Eye Primer and Liner Sealer by e.l.f. Um, it's in the neutral. I thought this would be kind of cool to try out. It's really awesome to find the e.l.f. products at the Dollar Tree. I always like finding um, nice makeup finds at the Dollar Tree like that. And then I picked up this lip balm tint, and this is in Grapefruit. And last few things I picked up were um, basically the e.l.f. Uh, the e.l.f. baked eyeshadows. And the first, I picked up two, and these are in uh, Pixie. These are just a real pretty pink uh, scent. Or scent color here. Oh my gosh. You can tell I'm not feeling hundred percent today. I'm trying, I'm trying. And then this one here, I love this. I think this is going to be great for the summertime. This is an enchanted. It's a real pretty uh, gold color. And I just love in the summertime, the gold, uh, eyeshadows and things like things like that, especially when you got a nice tan, I just think they always look really pretty. So I picked up two of those in that real pretty golden color. So yeah, that is my haul. You guys, I hope you guys are all doing really good. I, um, have some other videos I plan coming your guys' way, hopefully soon here. Um, I went to, oh, I'm not going to lie, I went to Michael's again, but this time they had a big box, you guys. Like, I only got one box, okay? And it wasn't Christmas stuff this time, but it was this big box, box this big. And then I got some other stuff, too. So I have a Michael's haul, another Michael's haul coming, and I don't know how you guys do it, um, you craft people, how you don't stay out of Michael's. Like, I'm just starting to get in the craft thing, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's 
I could just, there's so many cutesy little things in there and it just looks like it's going to be so much fun to start crafting. So anyways, I hope you guys all have a really good day. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.